Welcome to Unbox Burrito. I have here the Jiko J65 Pro Gaming Headset. This is reviewed as a nicer budget gaming headset that you can get on Amazon in the description below. And I'm going to unbox and give you guys a quick review in some bubble wrap and the cable and a little manual. So this is a wired headset and wow, it actually looks very nice and shiny. It is a matte finish. I'm just saying like it is clean and sleek. To me, it looks shiny. So let's start with the wire and go backwards. Feels like a high quality, good USB cable. The cable is very smooth. It's a matte finish. This is a very light control box here with the microphone on and off switch, LED light, turn it off, volume knob. We have a very flexible microphone. It's not detachable. A little tiny hole here for the mic. Really nice from the other side. 12 to 13 centimeters. The ear cushions are a cheap fake leather, but they feel very cushiony. 50 millimeter driver, very light. I feel like it won't give you too much head or neck strain from holding the weight of these headphones. It is not adjustable in length. It looks like this bar is permanently attached. These are the two adjustable headrests and it's kind of just on a flimsy piece of plastic so it just like stretches. One tension and size setting basically. Nice matte black finish, some oil stains from my hands already. Has a nice mesh look. They are closed back. This is just for aesthetics. And even though it looks like the microphone has another port on this side, it is not removable. So you can't switch spots. Just quick Windows and Mac setups. You have to download a separate software to get the virtual 7.1 surround sound. X-Ear Audio Center app. A link in the description below. Here's some specs. And once again, keep in mind, this headset does not have a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. It's straight to USB. I really like the control device here. It is actually very easy to grab with your left hand and this volume knob is really large. So it's just really easy to just turn it with your thumb like this. Same with accessing the microphone mute on and off. The buttons here that you can easily press to turn the light on and off, but you don't really need to ever press that. Putting the headphones on is very easy. Funny enough, since they're not adjustable, I thought they might be very uncomfortable, but for me, it fit just right. The two plastic flaps here allow for a nice little space on the top of the headband so you're not getting any pressure being applied directly on top of your head and to me that just feels very comfortable until about the two to three hour mark i started to feel a bit uncomfortable the tension of the headband i felt just started squeezing my head a bit too much so i would say if you like to game very long sessions like over three hours worth then you might find this a bit of a problem i especially love all of the led lights starting with the control box there's a light on the top here to show you if the lights on or off there are lights on the left and right side of the speaker at the bottom of the microphone two really cool rainbow led strips on the back of the headphones if you're in a setup where people can see you from behind, then you will look extra cool. Or if you're streaming and there's like a wall directly behind you, then you'll get this cool rainbow LED lights shining on the back. And since there aren't any lights in the front, you won't get any distracting glares of light bouncing off of your monitor. Now when it comes to sound quality, you kind of get what you pay for. It's not that bad for the price of these headphones being at like 35 Canadian dollars. But if I were to describe the frequency response curve on these headphones, the bass is boosted a bit too much. The highs aren't really there. It mainly focuses in the mid range where you would hear voices. This is the best way I can describe what the sound to me sounds like. It technically muffles very loud sharp sounds it is easier for you to hear voice chat it doesn't produce the bass like super clear it kind of just like artificially increases the bass and is what it sounds like to me it is easier to hear people talking over loud sharp sounds it kind of gets harder to hear them when there's a lot of deep heavy like bass explosions or deep heavy gunfire sounds so i would say if you care a lot about sound quality then you should definitely look towards getting headphones at least 
$100 or more, but for headphones in around the $30 to $40 price range, I find it sounds really decent for its quality range. I can still hear all the sounds, it's just certain sounds get increased a bit and then other ones get muffled a bit. But moving on to the microphone, that's actually where this headset does very well. It sounds really good and really clear and you can hear exactly what it sounds like with some sample game clips that I'm going to play right now. It's triple XP. Oh, and I, I, I played it like four hours yesterday. I wasn't gonna do it, but then I was like, oh, triple XP. Yeah, a lot of good games planned. And then Xbox is gonna be like, oh shit. And then Dwayne Johnson's gonna be like, I'm gonna appear in Fall Guys now. Come on, Wolf Buddy, let's go. Let's go, Wolf Buddy. Here, boy. Come over here. Good. Now jump in the portal. Jump in the portal. I don't care about Fortnite anymore, it's all about Fall Guys. <laughs> you were once a great master builder. I retired. Fall Guys took over. Did you hear um, Warner Brothers cancel a Batgirl show or something? I, I did. Yo, are you sad? Not really. So that's pretty much everything I have to say about these Gico headphones. They very simply just plug into the computer and the drivers get downloaded automatically and they just work instantly and the computer sees them as a separate audio input. The Gico company does have an extra downloadable software. If you'd like to turn on an artificial 7.1 surround sound, I personally don't like using any of these artificial surround sound settings. So I didn't even bother checking it out or reviewing it because I just never use it with any company or any pair of headphones. But they do have one and I'll post a link on where to download or find a tutorial on how to set that up. I can see myself using these for short quick game sessions. Just an easy pick up, put on and just start working. It also works very fine on the PS4 and PS5. Just plug it in and it just works. I feel for its cheap price being under 40 Canadian dollars. You get a pretty good bang for your buck here. You can see with their Amazon reviews, they do have a lot of four or five star reviews. You might actually be totally fine with the sound quality coming from these. I hope you enjoyed the video. You can go check it out, read other people's reviews, and determine for yourself if you think these would be a great budget pair headset for yourself. Thanks for watching.